Show, episode number 326. I am your host, Norman Fanzo. Joining me today is Starstream. Hello, everypony. How have you all been doing this week? Someone is hyper. How are you doing, man? <laughs> uh, it's been the same for me. Nothing much has changed. Alright, alright. All right, all right. So, hey, anywho, uh, it's a bit of a slow weekend in terms of news and whatnot because, well, uh, there's two major conventions happening as we speak. That is BronyCon in the United States and GalaCon in Germany. I do hope both of them having their good time. Mm, true that, true that. And it's pretty rare to have two happening at the same time because Germany or the Germans or people in Europe would have gone to BronyCon and vice versa. I'm going to be curious about GalaCon because GalaCon will have a special guest this year. Oh, who is it? The Sea Pony Orchestra is over there right now, oh. as, as I'm speaking. Yeah, they are performing the orchestra at Galacon this year. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. And if I'm not mistaken, they were at the previous Project Sea Pony Con. So, awesome on them, man. Hey, wait. Isn't the head guy for the Pony Con Orchestra from Malaysia? Yes. But I do... I could be wrong, but I did hear that this may be the last one they perform. After that, you would just pass it on to someone else to let them continue. Oh, okay. Well, I could be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hope you're wrong. I hope you're wrong. But still, I could be wrong because I wasn't in the the. Uh, but I do know about it though. But I'm not sure what what's going on recently because I wasn't in their group anymore. Oh, what happened? They kicked you out or you left? I think they could have just uh kicked me off. Oh no, <laughs> but it's but it's nothing that serious. I don't mind it. Alrighty then. Because I'm not that I'm not that active over there in the group anyway. Anywho, uh, for you guys who listened to the show and went to BronyCon or GalaCon, I do hope that you had fun and had an amazing time. And whoever of you who went to BronyCon, I do hope that you get to meet Silver Quill and Sapphire and say hi and enjoy their work and whatnot. Yes. So, anywho, let's head into the news. So, we start off with, well, Australia doing their thing again, airing an episode early. Yay. It's kind of curious, though. Mm. Apparently, both 16, episode 16 and 17 will be aired on August the 5th and August the 11th. Means that they're airing it around Sunday? Uh, Saturday. Oh, no. Sunday, for the, Sunday for the first one and Saturday for the second one. Yeah, and it's not even a week away. Like, why Australia? Why you do this? <laughs> Last time it was Canada and now it's Australia. I know. Why Australia? Why you do this? <sighs> early episodes and whatnot. Okay, okay. Well, early episodes are always good, but the only sad thing is that they finish faster and uh, you have to keep your mouth closed for a while because of spoilers. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> Could you just imagine what uh, Twi Genesis is going to say when he tries to moderate the group and stuff? It's like, oh no, uh, no spoiler talks. What? <laughs> Either that or, you know what? Screw it! I'm I'm just gonna watch the show, and I'm just gonna deal with the the and the spoilers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But anywho, anywho. So for you guys who do not want to watch episodes not air in the United States, uh, be aware that it might be spoilers were about. If I'm not mistaken, um, future episodes coming back on the 18th, right? I'm not too sure. Is it they're coming back on the 18th? I think so. We did talk about it before. I think it was August I'm 18th. Not, uh, something like that. My, what, you mean the next episode or something? Um, The end of the season hiatus. Uh, let me see. Uh, It's another seven more days, apparently. It's next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's next week on the 20th. No, wait, what? It's on the 4th, apparently. Yeah, it's on the 4th, August 4th. Yeah, so, wait, what? <laughs> oh, I'm so confused right now. You know what? Oh, my brain is hurting. So, okay, you know what? Let's not talk about it. Well, the US airtime apparently is going to air it on the next week, which is on the 4th of August. Oh, well, you know what? Let's not dwell on it anymore. Oh, wait. What? Sorry? Wait, sorry. Uh, What were we talking about again? <laughs> let's not talk about it anymore. It, it's confusing enough as it is. So, let's head into the next news. And in the next news is another top 10 by Miss Mojo. So, this time around, they have a top 10 list of musical animated episodes. So what this means is any episode that has a musical in it. 
Mm. You have your top 10 list from uh, Hey Arnold to Futurama, also a family guy, and so on. And My Little Pony got into the list. And My Little Pony is in number 7 with Magical Mystery Cure. Uh, this is not the song, but the whole episode itself. What was that episode again? Season 3 Ender. Was it now? Yes. Season 3 Ender, where uh, Twilight became an alicorn and the whole fandom rage. Oh yeah, that one. Yep, that episode. Thank you, Larson. <laughs> so, a lot of people in the EQD comments were talking about it and... They're saying that, oh, no, that uh, that was not good, like, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? If you're not satisfied with the results, you could always make your own top 10 list. Yes, agree. Mm-hmm. And well, then again, everyone has their own top 10 list of things that they like, of the episodes they like, or the songs that they like. Not everyone is the same. Yeah, because I'm reading here, and some people say that, Crusaders of the Lost Mark would have been better. But Crusaders of the Lost Mark didn't have the main six. It was the CMCs. So that plays oh, to a count too. It was still a very good episode. Oh yeah, I do like that it, episode. it is a good episode. But um, what I'm thinking here in terms of uh, what Miss Mojo is doing is they're picking their top songs in the episodes. Like how well is this musical episode? I think it could be. But, Probably that's the reason, the part why it was so good was because of the, what do you call it? The Coronation song, maybe? Probably, but I, there's a few good songs in there, like a True True Friend or the Pinkie Pie episode. Um, Pinkie Pride, yeah. That song had Weird Al. I, I do wonder why that was not picked. Could be because of the musical aspect of it? I, I don't know, probably. But, oh well, let's head on to the next news. Now we visit Watch Mojo. <laughs> Ah, uh, boys, those Mojo people are on a roll. So, last time we talked about best musical episodes, now let's go for top 10 saddest song in a cartoon show. And yeah, my, somehow My Little Pony is in it. Yes, Sadness and Ponies. Oh no, I did not expect... Uh, there's so many sad songs in the MLP seasons. But I think one of the saddest ones is, uh, apparently, it's... Is ranked as the fourth saddest song by Watch Mojo, The Pony I Want to Be. Yes. And yeah, it, it, it's kind of sad. Because I was thinking, I was like, hmm, how come it's not the, what you call it, the Apple episode? I can't remember what um, it was. I think that one was something, something, something. The, yeah. season, the season seven, that, that song? This, this song was not sad. That song was happy. Yeah, it's, it's true. It's happy, but... Oh uh, yeah, sorry. That w- yeah, that one is a sweet song, but it's a very what you call it is a lament song, I think, because they were talking about their parents and whatnot. Yeah, but the episode is sad. The song is happy. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Because it is a love song. Yeah. I was thinking about the other things. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, but this one, yeah, uh, Diamond Tiara being sad because her mother he, she didn't win the class election and whatnot. Huh? So well, uh, that review is out. If you want to go check it out. But yeah, uh, Watch Mojo give uh, The Pony I Want To Be number 4, which is not bad, which is not bad, because I think the episode that beat it out was a Steven Universe song, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think so, I don't remember. But anyway, uh, moving on to the final news, and sad news is, writer behind the new Quest Regal special is Nick Conflone. <coughs> so... Um, Equestria Girl is a thing, and in the recent San Diego Comic Con, they previewed a upcoming Equestria Girl special, and the special is pretty awesome, and I can't wait to watch it. And it seems that they already revealed who's the writer for said episode, and it is Nick Conflone. Um, Nick Conflone has done a few episodes here and there. And uh, I'm trying to double um, check. Here. I'm checking his IMDb. He has written what, about 11 episodes. We're counting the Equestria Girls into it also. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He has a few episodes under his belt. Yep. And yeah, let's see. Um, He did Party Poop, Heartbreakers, No Second Princess, The Saddle Row Review, Dungeons and Discords, uh, Rock Solid Friendship, Ooh, The Mod Couple... The Breakup Breakdown, that was a recent episode. 
uh, he did the equi- Equestria Girls writing. Fertus- Forgotten Friendship. Uh, Fertus- Fertus- oh, the- Fertus- yeah, okay. And then there was the Choose Your Own Ending, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, he, he did a lot. He did a lot. And hey, that's all cool. And yeah, that, that, that is cool. That is cool. And I think he seems to be the guy for the special now. Like, he is writing a lot of the specials, uh, including the upcoming one. It is three specials now. The Spring Break, uh, Spring Break special is uh, one of them. Because I'm checking on his IMDb. It's coming in 2019. Oh, wow. Oh, Spring Break. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? That's the 2019, not recent. No, I think the one that was t- talking about was the, I think the new Equestria spe- Girl special. I think is the Spring Break special. Maybe no. Oh man, I want that. I, I want that one soon. Was it the one with the what you call it? Yeah, I think that was a Spring Break special because it's the one there where. No, 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 no. Spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers. Spoilers. Oops. Sorry, we had to ask Sweetie Bell. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but I I did tell you right about that episode. You're gonna enjoy it, right? 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 I did see it. The the that uh trailer. Yeah. I was like, huh? Okay, that was interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did say that you're gonna enjoy it, right? <laughs> oh, I may I will uh, watch. <laughs> yeah, ponies. Yay! So anywho, well, then again, I did watch the what do you call it those short specials before. Mm-hmm. It's not that bad. True. 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 With that, that's the end of the news. So let's hit into the next topic. And next topic is what have we been doing with our week? So what have we been doing for our week? Uh, let's see. Star, you go first. I okay. I my week has been slow as usual, but a few things has occurred. One was ESA, uh, a speedrun event that is hosted in uh, Sweden is happening right now on Twitch. I think by the time. This podcast is out. It will be over. It's called the ESA Marathon, European Speed Assembly Mar- Marathon. Oh, that's yeah, cool. if I'm not, that's yeah. It's a one week uh charity fundraising event huh. for the uh charity fundraising event and host, which consists of about hundred forty speed runners. They're running different games, and their recent interesting run was uh two. Uh, all 140 members split into two teams running Super Mario 64 oh. having each team each team uh, getting all 70 stars oh wow and that was really interesting because as soon as one person take the one star then they had to switch switch uh, members <laughs> so everyone is everyone is like doing all different uh, what you call glitch and whatnot and it was very fun to watch <laughs> all right all right it's it's really fun. It's really fun to watch. And there was a uh, I was trying to catch the what do you call Yu Gi Oh hmm? <laughs> speed run. Yu Gi Oh speed. What what what? Yeah, they they uh, was going to do a Yu Gi Oh speed run of uh, Tech Force uh, GX oh, okay. Tech Force Two, and then they did. I did watch a bit of the Hearthstone speed run. What you can speed run Hearthstone? Yeah, uh-huh. apparently it's the the what do you call it, the story mode. Oh okay. I don't know the what, what was it called the explorer or something. I can't remember what it was. All right, but it was really fun. It was there was a lot of uh, interesting things here and there. But I think the most interesting one is especially when you speed run card games yeah. because you have to re- rely on RNG and you know sometimes RNG is very brutal. It's not in our favor. Yeah, true that. True that. I did watch one that was called the WarioWare Smooth Moves. Oh yeah. I think for those who didn't know, WarioWare is a game that consists of a uh, different mini game that takes at least five uh three to five seconds to complete. <laughs> where like in where one it's not a mini game, they call it a micro game. So each micro game takes uh three to five seconds. And some micro game is like, oh uh what do you call it? You just hit whack a mole. You just hit one mole and you just go to the next micro game. <laughs> oh, okay. And then or another one where you literally just pick your nose. Oh wow. All right, so how did that speed run go? Like that was going to be funny. They're running the Wii version, which basically you have to use the Wii remote as the different forms. So they do the speed run, and it was a bit sad that they didn't meet the in, uh, in incentive for where they do the final final challenge, where the final boss you had to do a dance, oh. but they did not do that. Oh. Well, they did, in the end, but it was not like the full dance. <laughs> all right, then. All right, then. So besides that, what else did you do, man? What else? Okay, uh, one of my... Well, 
I back then, back I think was it March or April, I bought uh what do you call it? Some plushies from Japan and now they have arrived at the forward site now. So I just need to pay for the shipping and I'll get it in my hands. It's a, uh, it's the content is a uh, two Miku plush. Nice. One of them is the normal Hatsune Miku. It's both of them is a uh, fifty cm big. So one of them is the normal Miku and the other one is a uh, is the limited edition no Miku. Wow. Twenty eighteen, mm. which comes in its own gift pack, and it's quite nice. Though another one of my friend did highlighted that, um, and then there was also one news that I saw. And I was quite frustrated because it's a, it's a premium uh, Digimon plush from Bandai Namco, which the maker is is the designer for the plush is by the creator of Digimon. Oh wow! Yeah, because they released previously, they released Mekomon, the first one. Mm-hmm. Then they released Gatomon. Then they released Agumon, and then there's Gabumon. And now they're gonna release uh Terriamon. Though it's at this moment, it's all in uh, pre-order, so we the only time that we may get it is maybe around November or next year at the earliest, maybe. Hmm. All right. All right. Though I do want to say, um, if, if you talk about rarity of the plush, it is very, very rare because, as you know, plush from Japan is not cheap, and those who got it, they tend to check it out very lot, very much. Like I still remember when I wanted the Gatomon plush, which was originally I saw it was about eight thousand yen something like that by the time i checked on ebay or the yahoo auction in japan prices already skyrocketed all the way up to like 300 us dollars oof, oof, oof. that is wow okay yeah i was like when i saw the price it was like about 200 about 200 us dollar i was like oh i feel like i want to get it but it's just too much for a plush and yeah yeah it, oof. Wow, oof. <laughs> but, uh, i do really want to have it though especially gato <laughs> I, I like Gatomon and Terriamon. <laughs> They're my two favorite Digimon. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Well, uh, um, I hope you find a way to get them somehow. Somehow. Because it, it's making me want to the Terriamon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but... but I did see all of them, though. All, all the de- they are designed for the Digimon. It's actually very nice looking. But I think one day, from the judgment like this, right? I think one day Renamon will come out. And I heard that you like Renamon, yeah, right? Yeah, but I don't think Norman? I have the money for it. <sighs> well, at least it's 8,000 yen. Yeah, it's not that much. 8,000 yen? How much? 8,000. If you convert it, it's about 80 US dollar, which you, since it's ringgit, is times four. Oh, it's this painful. So expect it's about 320 ringgit. No, no, thank you. No, thank you. But anywho, but anywho, uh, let's go for my week. So let's see. Uh, My week has been pretty okay, pretty simple. Uh, nothing too fancy. Um, Went to Ikea with my mom to buy her some shelves and whatnot. And I bought myself a... What do you call this? Ikea shark. Yay. <laughs> so what you do with the Ikea shark? I, I saw the picture that you posted. It looks very nice. I, I just put it around. When I'm playing games, he'll be there and whatnot. Yeah, so it's just around. I thought I, th- I thought you are going to put it on the bed and you just use it as a poster. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I sleep pretty rough, so I, I don't want to damage it and whatnot. So yeah, I just got to put it aside. But other than that, uh, what else did I do? Uh, yeah, I recently bought a game, yes. Uh, I haven't been playing only Overwatch now. Yes, I've been... I've bought Mega Man X Legacy 1 and 2. And I have Ooh. been having a lot of fun with that game. Uh, Mega Man... Oh, the nostalgia. Yeah, like playing through Mega Man 1 was fun. And I haven't really played 2 and 3 before. So going through those games are pretty fun. Uh, what else? Let's see. Uh, um, actually, you could play X One. Actually, what do you mean? In a more recent format. Ah, you because about the PSP version. Because apparently, yes, it came out on the PSP version. Yeah, that one is uh, Mega Man X something uh, Extreme something. I don't remember. That's not the SNES game. That's a whole other game, which did not came out on the remake. Which is kind of funny that they didn't do that. Huh. Oh well. Uh, other than that, uh, let's see. Finished through, well, um, the Legacy 1. Now I'm just trying to hunt down some achievements. Just because. And other than that, um, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun. Can't wait to go through 5 and 8, the other half, and see how it goes. I, I can tell that I'm not going to enjoy five, and, 5 through 8. 
I have an expectation. You will enjoy 5 and 6. Um, but not 7. Probably for 8, maybe. Yeah, I, I've played 8 before and I... <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Uh, anything on the PlayStation era, I've played before. So, I remember being neutral with 5 and okay with 6. 7 was a total letdown with how they tried to go for this new 3D perspective from 3D. the back kind of view and whatnot. Frankly speaking, the 3D could have been good, but did, they did a very, very bad job and optimization. So in the end, it comes up very well, I mean, bad. talking about PlayStation 2, I mean, uh, if you're talking about the Legacy Collection version, I heard that they did up a few things, but that's about it. We will see. We will hear from your comments once you want to X7. Yeah, I mean... Uh, like I mentioned before, I played 7, didn't really enjoy it because how the camera angle works. And it was not bad. I, I kind okay, <sighs> how to put this? It was in the same vein as the old Mega Man games, uh, well, X series. Uh, they're going for side-scrolling, which is good. But, uh, I don't know, the 3D thing could have been better than one. I don't know. It was, it was something. So, we'll see how I go back again when I replay it. Uh, hope it was good. Hope it was good. But other than that, um, yeah, kind of enjoyed the game. Kind of enjoyed it. And yeah, Overwatch. Mm -hmm. Hammond's out. Got to play as him. Don't really like him as I did before. A lot of things. Probably the group. Probably people know how to counter Hammond already. So yeah. But that's been my week. So anywho, let's get on to it. So anyway, uh, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can do so at gmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the Mia Show. My personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And what about you, Star? Where can the good people find you? People could find me on my Twitter, AngelicorXX, or my DeviantArt, AngelicorXX. Alright, alright, alright. And also please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And switch to radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyBlife.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me and Silver Quill talking about the Pony episodes, comics, and movies. And sometimes we like to talk about other things other than ponies. So, do find out what we are going to talk about soonish. We did something recently and I think you guys are going to enjoy it because we sure did. Anyway, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com with every support you'll get a week early access to the review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content and a huge thank you from me talking about thank yous I'd like to thank your cats our stream Mr. Black Amy Charles Lucky Knight and also Tristan thank you so much guys stay awesome anyway I have been Norman Sanzo and this is Star Stream and we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the NBS show see ya see ya see ya